Hello everybody, welcome back to another pastel painting. Um, we are still on meadows today, and today we're doing something with a little bit more yellow, some mountains and sky, something with a little bit of a cooler tone. So not quite what we would normally do. Let me bring this forward a little bit, hopefully without breaking it. That's a bit better. Um, so we've got some cooler greens, some neutral greens, some cooler mountains in the background, and a yellow that isn't necessarily warm. There are some warm bits to it, and I will put some warm bits in, but yeah, definitely that. God, yeah. Touch anything and it gets everywhere. But. Right, so yes, as you can hear, sanded paper. This is some more of my sand tone perfects. Um, just because I can buy it in bulk relatively cheap compared to the Cancer May Tense Touch. If I was doing something a little bit more um, hefty, then I'd probably use the Touch or uh, you Art and Fishing 400. Oh, I'm really sneezy. My allergies are going nuts this week. Right. So I'm going to start with an underpainting. Um, I want something quite grey. Um, so, do I want loads of sky? Do I want loads of. No, I want. I don't want loads of sky actually. So, I'm going to come down. But this is the first of the mountains. It kind of comes down to about here. There's another one in the background that actually comes up like that. It goes like that. So that's fine. And then we'll just make our sky this beautiful grey. Uh, we will add blue on top, but we'll make it. You'll see what I mean. So, here's our grey. Our mountains we're going to do in a grey green. So, I don't know where our, our horizon line is along there. So we're just going to do that. These will be two slightly different colours. I'm not really too fussed at the moment. Um, some patches of this colour here and there. Just quite a nice kind of neutral grey green. this painting actually this is and then another patch in here just pulling where the bush line is along there we've got a patch here it's kind of basically where there's clearly hummocks and this is this kind of looks like heather but as this must be somewhere in America in a desert so any of you that recognize or kind of know where this um, where the reference photo is or have some sort of idea it does kind of look almost Arizona-y Arizona-y? Arizona-y. Um, so it'd be great to see if you guys maybe can help out on the where this might be. It's uh, definitely not in Scotland. Um, whilst we have gorse in that lovely colour, they're almost like tiny mini daisies. Um, just, yeah. Just the colour tones and stuff in this makes me think, no, this isn't, this isn't my home country, I'm afraid. Definitely somewhere else. I'm just not sure where. Right, now, I don't want to put a green on. What I want to do with the rest of that is put on a gold colour. Because I'm going to be putting greens over the top anyway. And the greens are they're going to take a rather neutral background to this. So I need the rest of this to give that tone. Now, yes, this is a warm colour. But I'm going to be putting a fair amount of blue tones down over the top. So... I want a little bit of warmth underneath because of this golden colour and these little daisy flowery things. Kind of like heather, kind of like broom, kind of like I have no idea what. Somebody else, if you can identify the flower you get bonus points. Right. So there's our slightly weird layout. Hopefully that makes sense to somebody. Um, I'm going to use again, use alcohol spray and paintbrush. 
So yeah, I'm using a so old soap bottle for this, so you can see. Um, so we're just going to give this a good spray, and then we're going to just make sure it can wet. This stuff does kind of go quite quick. Oh, look at that, there we go. Just watching a Tesco's delivery van come past. Food! I actually don't know why I'm having the tea. One of those things, isn't it? I love food. I can't cook. I can bake, but I can't cook. My husband is definitely the baker. I love him for it though. And some of the things he cooks is amazing. Some of them are definitely more his taste than mine, but I'll put up with it for the rest of what I get, which is generally pretty nice. touch these darks, they'll go everywhere. Look at that. What a wonderful colour that is. and they mix with something like this. It's just amazing the colours you can get. Right now, let's get some of this in and see how quickly the uh, alcohol is drying now. This one, the okay, this one, the darker one. Like how dark do I want to make it? So when you do that, it doesn't really look very dark, does it? No. Okay, slightly darker. Go back to the blue that we've done for the sky. It's actually it will make sense. See that the alcohol is still a bit wet because it's ripping this. I'm not very happy with it. That's fine. Right, so there's First the mountains, put the other one in behind. I want to get some of the sky in. Um, basically because when I start getting other mountain in, I want to be able to bring this up slightly, and I can't do that at the moment because those are too similar. So. So I'm not too fussed at the moment how it looks. I just want to get it in and then go back over my dark mountain here. Like 
that's kind of what we want. I want to get some of this definition that this mountain has lumps and bumps and it's not not straight. I hate it when you do something that's straight. Also, I want to soften the edges slightly. Right. That's better. This one's the lighter one. Yeah, there's our lighter green. Just fine. This one we're just pushing back a wee bit. Right. I'm going to reinforce my sky. Now, with mountains, it's a bit of a weird thing because I think it's a perspective thing, but um, the further away the mountain is, the actual softer the outline is. So the closer it is, the more rugged and you'll see the shapes and bumps and things going down. But the further away it is, um, the less you'll actually see of that. Just moving out the edge line here, the one in the back. I want that to be a bit more distant. Like that. There we go. Right, we now have some mountains, so it's good. Now I want to get the darks back in, just reinforce those. dark that we've got going on down here. A little patch here. And a little patch here. That's kind of what we want. This bit kind of does come down. And then these bush this bush line actually comes down a wee bit more. So I'll bring that down. Bring that down as well. Like that. Let's get into some cool colours. I've got my dark green, um, which I've got a mid green, which is a, a blue green. I'm just going to add some of this in. to where my darks are, my existing darks anyway. darker green. Now, I want to jump in with these yellows because I don't really want to lose them. Let's try to decide what I'll go for first because they're quite, uh, they're quite yellow. See, that's too warm. This, however, might be just about right. I mean, it's super bright, it's also super soft. One of the ones I have a problem with, I think. It doesn't really, doesn't really 
really work very well, this one. I don't know what's wrong with it, it's kind of weird. It's almost like it's so soft that it doesn't actually go down properly. I know that sounds a bit weird, but... If you've used pastel long enough, you'll know what I mean. There is a lot of these little yellow flowers. There's a little bit here that's going to warm that up. We can round to it. There's a patch here, a little bit off to the side there. A couple of dots there. See where it kind of comes in and out further up. There's a lot here. It's like a huge swathe of these flowers here. It's beautiful. Must be quite. A, must have been quite a stunning sight. Stunning sight. <coughs> stunning sight, even. Do you see our focus is? Over here, but we got a. We do still have to lead people in the right direction. So now it just looks very strange, which is fine. What do I want to do? Probably want to add some of this in now. This is this colour. Do you want to do that? Do you want to add the other green in? Actually, I might add some of this in first. and patches it's one of our blue tones which is fine and we bring more yellow in up here what I'm doing is I'm just working out where where the clumps are in the reference photo where I want to put some for example there's a lot of it a lot of it around here section here and then back up again. And then you've got quite a chunk here. There's just little bits peeking up at the bottom. Not much. Got a big, big section of it there. And then little bits. There's less of it over here where the flowers are more concentrated. That's because obviously you can't see the foliage very well through the flowers, so so there'll be less of it here. This definitely does a huge chunk coming up that way. It's like patch into the distance, there's patches of everything. Patches of the yellow, patches of the green, patches of the darker colour. I love using cool greens, it's such a nice, just it's, it's such a nice effect. Yeah. Okay, right. I'm gonna bring this warm, I don't know, orange mustard ochre colour back in. Just a little bit of it, these flowers, and that's because they actually, I think, if I'm right, it's the centres of the flowers which are this weird darker yellow, and then the petals which are really bright yellow. But obviously, when they cluster together, I'm actually going to see them. So I think it makes that much of a difference. I will probably reinforce the darks as well at some point soon. A 
up up here can I see it in patches up there and then in between the others here suggestions of it in this section of grass but not actually any. Same here. Yeah, rub it here. And then this, this definitely comes down. On the bottom of this section of this darker section comes up. flowers are the more they look like bands of colour rather than like groups of flowers so yeah I like where that's going the tablet's just turned itself onto standby stop that which is a kind of sage green so it is warm but it's more neutral so I'm just little bands of this I'm kind of like circular bands coming around each clump It makes quite a, it's quite an impactful colour despite there not being much of it. You just have to think very, very carefully about the where you're putting it and where you see it in the picture. pastel this one it is a sennelier but it's, it's it's quite scratchy but sometimes that actually plays it into what you want to do so which is already light green grey. I've also got this which is a really kind of almost mint green. So clean that a bit off. There you go, kind of mint greeny colour. Just gonna add these little sections where this where it's kind of more stalky almost. Oh, almost there.
where it is scratchy ish. And there's sections of this bush that's really quite obvious, like that. Now we're going to go back in with our yellows. So we've got plenty of the golden colour down, so now we're just going to bring in some more of this yellow. So, pink. And go for. I don't really own that many blue yellows, it's one of the weird things. I just don't own many. I probably want to add some more. some mark dot marks where the flowers are kind of coming through. Yes. I've got this almost perfect kind of circle coming down there. So but this is a really tight grouping where I want to make the yellow really obvious. I kind of cut into it like that. Really push with the pastel, get it into the green so that it you maximize how much colour you're getting down. Try to get a bit of that green. sparse and it came down. So you just want to do that. How's that looking? Oh yeah, that's pretty. comes down a wee bit but not much. It's actually quite a significant swathe of green down on this side so that's kind of how we want to keep it. Right. Do you know what? I kind of like that. I've been 
missing the silvery, silvery green. Come on, that color. It's bluer. That color looks bluer. Kind of like that. But that's, I think that's too light. So actually, I think the sage is probably the better color. Bring this kind of silvery colour back in. I lost it slightly too much. <laughs> See where it is. When you look at the rest of the painting, when you look at the reference, which you wear. Just little patches of it. Not much, but just patches of it. Grey. That's what I was missing. Just more of that sage. Such a beautiful colour. Right. I think I'm probably going to leave it there. Let's score my initials in the corner here. Not that any of you can see that. Right. Well, thank you all for joining me today. I hope you really enjoy this. It's just something so happy about the colour yellow, so such a nice colour to work with. Um, hopefully you guys have liked this one, remember to like and subscribe, remember to leave a comment below if you have any questions about what I do, and also if you've got any suggestions on what you would like to see. Um, I am looking at doing some art prints, hopefully I'll be able to get those into my shop sometime after Easter for those that celebrate Easter, uh, but basically at some time in end of April, hopefully. So, ta-ta for now, and I hope you have a lovely day.